It's the year 2024 where grocery prices are at a record high and the one pound challenge feels like an unrealistic time in the past. I have done many budget challenge videos on this channel with incredible results and you guys have been asking me to do the one pound challenge again now. Honestly, is that even possible in the year of 2024? I decided I wanted to give this a try and take it a step further. I'm going to use all the things I've learned over the years as well as try to find some new tips and tricks to do my hardest budget challenge today. In this video, I want to see if I could go a whole week feeding myself without spending any of my own money. That's right people, this week my budget is zero pounds, which means this, this, and this chocolate cake for dinner was all free. This week, I tried to feed myself using every tactic I can think of without spending any of my own money. Will I get through this week or will I be left freezing out in the cold questioning my life decisions? Let's find out. The first and most important step is prep. That rhymed. Love that. Depending on how well this goes, this could literally make or break this week for me. So I'm gonna spend the next few hours scouring the internet to find the best deals, freebies, activities. And honestly, I was surprised with the results. I found some really cool stuff. There's so many cool things happening in London all the time. So I thought I'd try some of them this week. The first thing I did was collect freebies. Lots of companies give you freebies when you sign up to their app, and you can also get a lot of freebies around your birthday. It was not my birthday, but it was Jay's who kindly let me use her coupons for this video. Thankfully, most of them were QR codes that you can scan at the till, so Jay didn't even need to be present for me to use them. I collected so many amazing deals. It is raining. It's such a beautiful day in London to be collecting lots of free stuff. I am making my way around London, trying to collect as much free stuff as possible. Look at my bag right now. I've got Taco Bell, got Greg's, Lidl. The struggle is real, guys. Let's go. Flippin' love British weather, I do. Oh my God, guys. Can we just appreciate this incredible plate full of goodies? This isn't all the stuff I picked up today, which is wild, but this is some of the stuff I picked up today for free. They look so good. We've got quite a selection. We have a cinnamon pretzel donut, got a custard filled donut, which is my favorite from Greg's, and a lotus biscoff donut from Krispy Kreme. I have a blueberry muffin, got a Subway cookie, and I've never tried this before. This is from Gail's. I have this chocolate and almond croissant. I'm thinking that would be a nice breakfast situation. Now I need this to stretch me throughout the whole week, so I'm gonna try my very best not to have have it all in one go, but trust me, I could. And now you're probably thinking, why didn't I just pick it up throughout the week so it's fresh? The main reason I didn't do that is because I just feel like that's not a good way to live my week, is just to constantly be out getting free stuff. Because at the end of the day, I still have to like live a normal life, right? And do work and stuff. So I thought if I just pick it all up in one go, that's time efficient. And I was thinking maybe... I feel good. Thanks for asking. The way my heart just jumped out of my chest right now. Is someone listening to me? I didn't even say, hey Siri. Oh my God, technology scares me. I didn't even say anything to Siri then, but Siri just went off. This one I might have straight away because it just looks incredible. This is a custard donut from Greg's. One of my favorites, so good. I still have other treats that I need to pick up throughout the week and those are the ones I'll have fresh. So it'll be like an extra treat. So I Googled it and turns out a lot of this stuff freezes really well, which is great. And I have, I don't know why I have them, but I have some freezer bags. So I think I'm gonna freeze the pretzel. Apparently you could freeze pretzels for like up to two months. That is insane. The next thing I'm gonna try and freeze is a pastry. I really hope freezing this stuff doesn't affect the flavor because I really want to enjoy this pastry. And if it tastes horrible after I've frozen it, I'm gonna be so sad. So I'm gonna wrap it in foil and we shall check in on this in a few days. And the next thing I'm gonna freeze is, if I can open it, the blueberry muffin. I have seen TikTok videos where people freeze their wedding cake and try a whole year later, and they always say things like, oh, it tastes really good. So I'm feeling a bit more confident about this one. I feel like the muffin should be okay. So these are my frozen experiments this week. I'm gonna now put them in the freezer and we shall check in on these in a few days. I think they'll be fine. To make extra money this week and to cover my travel costs, I'm taking up dog walking. Meet Stitch, who I will be walking all of this week. I found a coupon for free dog food. And since I'm dog walking this week, I thought it could be a good thing to get for the dog. And it's just arrived and it's a lot bigger than I thought. Oh my goodness. This is such a big bag. What? I didn't pay a single penny for this. Oh my God, it's got Stitch's name on it. That is such a good find. Not only am I hoping to eat for free this week, so will Stitch. So this is Stitch's Dindins. So I'm just gonna give some here. Yeah. 
Good girl. I don't know if she likes it. Look, Stitch. Okay, I think it's working. I think we're bonding, guys. This bag of food really came through for me. She really likes the food. I don't know if she's as keen to go walking as she is with eating, but come on now. Come on now. Ah, uh, okay. Oh no, I don't think she wants to go walking. Let's go. Yeah, good girl. She looks small, but she is a leading, demanding queen. Look at her go. <laughs> it became apparent very quickly that Stitch had a mind of her own. It's going to be a long week. Oh no! I have no control. Today's dinner is courtesy of chopsticks. Now this one I think is one of the better deals. One of the birthday freebies you can get is a whole box from chopsticks. You get to choose like the main base, so noodles or rice or even both, and one side. I went for the noodles with katsu curry, and you get like a whole portion of chicken. So much protein for free, which is insane. Look at all that. And it doesn't stop there, people. This is a gift that just keeps on giving because when you sign up, so this isn't a birthday thing, this is just like anyone can do it at any time. They give you five mini spring rolls. I love these. I could eat a whole bag of these mini spring rolls for my dinner. I'm gonna put two in my meal today and I'm gonna save the rest for another day. I think I'm gonna freeze these as well. The amount of stuff I've frozen this week is insane. I'm just gonna microwave this up. All of that is free. Insane. It's hot. That looks so good. Mmm, that's really nice. I'm also really hungry, so anything's gonna taste nice at this point. But that's really, really nice. I think this might be one of the better meals I had this week. I've done a lot of free birthday videos in the past, but I've never done this one because I didn't know this was a thing. I feel like I've learned so many new freebies in this video. It's such a good deal. So good. And you get free spring rolls. Mm. Continuing on with the theme of finding new freebies, we have come to one of my favorite bakeries, Oliensteen. Or at least I think that's how you pronounce it. Ooh, some free samples, don't mind if I do. And I also got a free Danish pastry. Today I'm going to spend my whole day eating out, breakfast and dinner, all free. So the first one I found is Oliensteen. For your birthday you get a free dessert and if you sign up you get 400 points, which you can choose what different things you want, as a pastry or drink. So I've got myself a hot chocolate and for breakfast I have a raspberry and almond pastry. Mmm. <laughs> oh, this is really nice. Wow. This is like one of the nicest pastries I've had. This is so nice. It's so flaky and the raspberries give it like hang, so it's not like too sweet. This is a really nice spot to just have a drink and people watch. After breakfast, I went for a little stroll around London, found some more samples at Witted Tea. They had some interesting options. For dinner, I went to Maragame Udon. This was such a good find. If you download the app, you can get free noodles up to the price of £5.95. I got the BK one and you can get free toppings here. There's so many options and choice. I basically pretty much added everything and it came out so tasty. Honestly, I actually preferred this to the other options you can buy. And I was so full by the end of it. It was so cool to eat out so well at a restaurant without spending anything. Today's breakfast is the frozen pretzel. I brought it out of the freezer and I'm gonna air fry it. I don't think I need to air fry it for too long. Great, that's just beautiful that is. Breakfast is served. Let's see what the quality is like after you've frozen and air fried it. Mmm, oh that is nice. That literally tastes like Christmas in your mouth. Even though we're coming into spring now, it's giving like cozy vibes. Honestly, you can't even tell that it was frozen. The quality is so good. I approve of freezing the pretzels. I'm feeling a lot more positive about my other frozen goods now. At this point, I was starting to get worried about running out of free food options. So it's time to start thinking about ways to make extra money without spending any money. I've done a bit of spring cleaning. I don't think I can survive this week on just free food alone. So I was thinking if I want to stay within the rules of everything I consume this week to be free, then maybe a way around that is how can I make money without spending money? And I thought a really good way of doing that is by selling stuff. So basically I've gone through my entire flat and found random things that I could potentially sell. I'm hoping someone out there wants this stuff. So these are all the things that I I'm hoping to sell online. So I'm thinking my best approach is Facebook Marketplace. This is mostly my camping gear. I have a lot of camping stuff. I have a hand mixer. I feel like this could go for, I mean, at least five quid. So I lost the whisk that came with this box. So that knocked the price down to five pounds. At this point, I was struggling and leaned into my best sales tactic, desperation. I was using any persuasive techniques I had, basically begging people to buy my stuff. And listen, it worked. I got responses, guys. I cannot tell you how exciting this was. Now I just have to get over the anxiety of actually having to 
meet up with strangers. In the meantime, I had to fulfill my dog walking duties. Come on, that's it. Come on now. As you can see, we were getting on great. Good girl. No, no. Come on, that's it. Come on now. Let's go. It's a work in progress. Yeah, good girl. Guys, this deal is crazy. Asda are currently offering free breakfast. There's literally no catch. You can get free Quaker Oats porridge and a hot drink for free. It's open to everyone. You don't need to buy anything. And the best part is for every offer that's redeemed, Quaker will donate a box of porridge to fish it. You really can't go wrong with this one and it tasted so good. Midway through the week and the challenge was really hitting me. I was grateful for all the food. I was starting to feel really tired and lethargic and I think that was because of my diet. I haven't really had much fruit and veg this week and it's mostly been all sugar and that was starting to have a knock-on effect on my energy levels. Don't mind me just eating chocolate cake for dinner. Oh that's so nice. That was really nice. Today's dinner is a birthday cake. It's not even my birthday. Cue the Nick Jonas meme. Sometimes you just gotta order a birthday cake for no reason. I am eating a birthday cake and it's not even my birthday because I'm wild like that. This one I was really surprised by because if it's your birthday, Lola's Cupcakes literally gives you a five inch birthday cake for free. When I found out about this deal, I was like, this is insane. The only stipulation is you have to sign up a month before your birthday. Isn't that crazy? And you know what's even more crazy? I didn't know about this until I started prepping for this video. So last year for my birthday, I literally bought a five inch birthday cake from Lola's Cupcake. And if I had known about this deal, I literally could have got that cake for free, which is wild. But because it's a whole birthday cake, I decided to freeze some for later and save the rest for Jay. This this is the chocolate and almond pastry from Gales and it looks so good. Another great sign up bonus is Gales where you can get a free hot drink. It is such a nice day today. I'm on my hot girl walk and I just got myself a free drink from Gales. I went for the hot chocolate because I don't drink coffee and this is such a nice hot chocolate. I think the hot chocolate from Gales might be my favorite hot chocolate. And I'm getting my steps in. Look at me go. Honestly, the sun makes such a big difference in my mood. It's crazy. And Stitch was really enjoying the hot girl walk too. I could feel it's really starting to bond. Come on, Stitch. Good dog. Let's go. I found so many great free activities this week. I didn't realize how much free stuff was available in London. You can go free ice skating on your birthday and get a free meal. I went to a movie night and a sip and pay. Look at this great spread of food. And boy, did I stock up on the fruit. And got to paint, which is like one of my favorite activities whilst meeting new lovely people. It was an opportunity to have fun, make friends and eat. Such a good find. I loved the sip and paint event. It was so much fun. And I'm really glad that I did go. The main reason I went was for this video to show you guys what kind of options are out there. And I had no idea what to expect, but I am so glad I went because it was so much fun. And it was like a kind of activity that I would naturally want to do. But if you are interested in events like that, I'll leave all the events that I went to in the description box. I genuinely had such a lovely time. I know for this video, I was trying to show you like, oh, it's free food, but like it was so much more than that. It just shows even on a budget, you can still have community and socialize and make friends and do cool, fun activities. This is just proof that you should just put yourself out there because you'll never know unless you do it. I am back home and I got myself an entire burrito. This is one of my favorite birthday deals. I love bar burrito. Thank you, Jay, for letting me use your birthday freebie. I'm so grateful. Also, Jay said that I should use this disclaimer, that she's completely happy with me using her birthday freebies. And actually, she wouldn't have even used a lot of them, so it would have gone to waste. And also to say that I did do things for her birthday. Also, another good thing about these birthday offers, which I didn't know originally, is that you don't have to get them on your actual birthday. There's like different expiry dates for every offer. Sometimes they last for a week, a month. So that's why I'm able to do this challenge because I didn't actually have to do it on that one day. So if you are looking at all these deals and thinking, oh, I might not have time to pick them up on my actual birthday, it's okay. Because many of these deals last for like a whole month. Oh my God. That's so good. Oh. Spicy. And one of the main reasons I make these kind of videos is to show you guys what's out there and what's possible. But it also surprises me every single time. It makes me so happy. This is my go-to order. We have tomato rice, beans, lots of chili. I got lettuce, jalapeno, spicy salsa, just like all the good stuff. And it's like so nourishing and like so filling. That's a generous freebie right there. I mean, just look at that. I will say though, one thing that I've noticed is how tired I am this week. And I think a lot of it is because of the amount of sugar I've been having this week. And I feel like that's had like a knock on effect. So that's not great. I need to do something about that. Over the week, Stitch started to warm up to me. 
and I was enjoying the walks, even if it did mean picking up dog poop. Starting to question my life choices right now. Okay, I think she's warming up to me, guys. Look at us go. We going? Let's go. Yeah. I think she likes me now. When I was searching for free stuff, I came across this incredible place called Nourish Hub, where they provide free breakfast every second and fourth Friday. Anyone and everyone was welcome, and the staff was so friendly. It was a great place to build community as well as eat great food. They had M&S bread, interesting jams, cereal, and so much more good stuff. It's such a nice open space. It feels really calm and lovely. It's quite wholesome, and they have like an interesting selection of food. I have picked up fruit toast, where I've got chocolate chia pudding. So I'm interested to try that. And I've also got toast with pandan and I made myself some questionable tea. I really like it. I'm gonna try the chocolate chia seed. Mmm, can't really taste the chocolate that much. I think there's a texture that's thrown me off, but chia seed is really good for you, so I'm gonna eat it. But um, it's got like a real jelly kind of texture. Mmm, it's good. I like this. Well, we're back to my safe zone. <laughs> Just a really nice, friendly vibe. And they have, like, plants there. They have, like, a book section. This is a really nice option. If you want to have free breakfast, you can. I think the whole point of this is to meet people within the community and interact with people. They even do community lunch, so it's not just breakfast. They do quite a few, few things. And you can volunteer, and you can learn how to cook. Really great. It's called Nourish Hub. Really cool. They had pandan spread. I've never tried pandan spread before, but it was all the rave last summer. Mmm, that's so sweet, but not too sweet. Basically tastes a bit like kaya toast or like pineapple jam. For dinner, I was trying the crunchy taco, which I've never had before. I actually don't eat Taco Bell that much, so this was nice. Which I'm going to put in the air fryer. don't know if it's a crunchy taco anymore. Mmm, that is nice. I don't know what I was expecting, but that's really nice. You know, I never go to Taco Bell. I don't know why. I feel like Taco Bell isn't as popular in the UK as it is in America, but it's not bad. I like it. Back to the mixer. Turns out setting up a time and date to meet people was quite the struggle. I agreed on a time and place to meet only for them to not turn up. Sad times. But after a couple of failed attempts, it was finally happening. I was so exhausted by this point that this felt like the biggest moment of my life. Look at that smile on my face. You'd think I won the lottery because that's literally how I felt in the moment. I've never sold anything on Facebook Marketplace before so I was kind of nervous. She was happy and more importantly, I got my money. Whole five pounds, baby. All was good in the world. Little veg box, here I come, baby. I have been eating so much processed food this week, so I'm so excited to finally have some choice over the food I put in my body. I have come to Lidl super early. The store hasn't even officially opened yet. It's just open for browsing because I want to get the wonky veg box. And apparently in this store, they bring it out like first thing in the morning. So I'm like a keen bean because I need that wonky veg box. I am going to get myself oats. I don't really enjoy oats, if I'm honest with you, but it's cheap. This whole bag is like 90p. And I have chocolate at home. So I was thinking I can like melt the chocolate into this. And then I also got some rice, which could go well with some of the vegetables. And here she is. This is my wonky veg box, and there's a lot of good stuff in this one. We've got an aubergine, which has seen better days. We've got some plums, peppers, a lot of lettuce. I'm not really sure what to do with the lettuce, but I'll figure it out. Satsumas, potatoes, that's great. Onions, apples, and I've got some cherry tomatoes. I am really happy with that. I can do a lot with this, so... I don't think I realised that I had tomatoes in there because I also bought tinned tomatoes. I think the plan is to make a big pot of vegetable curry. I'm gonna try and use as much of the vegetables as possible and then I can meal prep that. I also bought rice and I'm happy to just to eat that on repeat. The reason why I'm happy to do that on repeat is because I am so grateful for this find. I found a coupon from Simply Cook which gives you free spices. You get to search through the website and pick the spices you want and now I'm gonna see what they look like. Honestly, when you're working on a budget, spices is like the most important thing ever. <gasps> oh my god! Oh wow! These are my spice kits. That looks so good. And this was all completely free. I'll leave a link in the description box if you guys want to try this out. This isn't like sponsored or anything like that, but it is a good find. These are the ones I chose. So they give you three different pots and you get like garlic paste and the spices. <gasps> So cute. You get three different pots. So I have all of this, and I have all these spices to play around with, and I've got a lot of rice. And I'm thinking if I make like lots of curries, I can freeze them. I am so happy to smell like fresh fruit and veg. This is what I've been missing this whole week. Getting that vitamins in, baby. First thing to do is make the rice. Before you all come for me in the comments, yes, I wash my rice. And this rice is incredibly starchy. Is that the word for it? 
saw this hack on TikTok and I can finally ooh, try it out. Basically a quick way of cutting all the cherry tomatoes in one go. You go press down and then you can basically cut. Oh, this is not going well guys. Hopefully if all goes well, you should be able to cut all the cherry tomatoes in one go. They made it look a lot easier in the TikTok. Oh wow. Half of them have been cut, half of them haven't. Then I chopped up the pepper, aubergine. I have no idea how to cut an aubergine. I'm going a bit rogue on this one. Onion and potatoes. The rice is done, guys. Oh my God. I have made rice in this rice cooker for years and I have never seen rice come out with this kind of consistency. This feels like one big sludge, but we got to work with what we got. Then I added in the potatoes, onion and spice pot. Gave it a quick mix and it was looking great. Then I went in with the tomatoes, aubergine and different spice pots. I'm so excited to have different flavored meal options. Then for my very stodgy rice, it literally wouldn't come off the spoon. That smells incredible. And just like that, I had enough food meal prep for the next few days. The rice is so stodgy. I don't really know what this is because I just put a bunch of veggies together with that Balinese, Balinese? I don't know how to pronounce that. And the spices. So this is very much an experiment. It does smell really good. Whoa, those spices came through. That is so good. Tastes like Thai food. When you have these kind of spices, I think it doesn't really matter what you put in it because the spice is gonna dominate and it tastes so good. This is what my body has been craving all week. <laughs> For breakfast, I am making porridge or oatmeal. I don't know what the difference is to be honest. Got some hot water here. Now this on its own has no flavor whatsoever. So I'm gonna make up for it with toppings. You can get a whole box of lint chocolate for free on your birthday. Do you need to go specifically to the lint store for it? But you can get a whole box of lint chocolate. I also picked up some chocolate from Hotel Chocolat and I have these plums from my wonky veg box. So basically what I'm going to do is put all of that in my oatmeal and then that will make my oatmeal taste more sweet, chocolatey and fruity. And we basically go from a really bland, tasteless oatmeal to hopefully a really delicious one without spending any extra money. I really hope this works out well. Otherwise I'm wasting like such good chocolate. I'm gonna cut these into like little shavings. I'll probably use like a quarter of this and then sprinkle that on top and then add in some fruit pieces. Here we have the oatmeal. This is a consistency that I like it. We have all this beautiful lint chocolate. Just gonna pour that on top and then mix it all in so it turns into like chocolatey oatmeal. Mix it all up. So now it's gonna taste sweet. I'm gonna add in some fruit and then I'm gonna top it off with the chocolate shaving. It doesn't look cute, but it smells incredible. We've gone from a very basic breakfast to a very indulgent one. I am so curious to try this. Oh my God. That raspberry chocolate is incredible. Holy smokes, that's so good. I was really nervous about wasting really good chocolate, but this is such a good way to use the chocolate to make a very plain breakfast, go from zero to like a hundred. Overall, I would say this week has been interesting and long. <laughs> I think it is better when there's like leftover. Oh my God, there's this whole thing about leftover rice syndrome and it kind of freaks me out. But like, I've always eaten leftover rice my whole life and I've been fine. I'm eating it right now and I hope I'm fine. The spices really came through for me this week. The main reason I did this challenge was because I was curious to see how it would go in 2024 because so much has changed since I first started doing these videos. I was really surprised by the results. I think it went better than I was expecting. I definitely learned a lot this time around. This one was a big learning curve, but I'm glad that I did it and I put myself out there and tried new things. I think my favorite thing was the free activities. I feel like we're very fortunate in London because there's so many cool free activities here. And like, it was just really fun. I got to meet people and socialize. And it was just nice to have that breather and have that fun whilst also being on a budget. Let me know your thoughts and what you would do differently. I'm sure you would do a much better job than I did this week. And if you have any tips, please leave them in the comment section below because I know these kind of videos help people a lot. I am very aware as much as I'm saying this is a challenge video and this video is for entertainment purposes and I am putting myself in like silly situations. I also wanted to put things in this video that was super helpful for people. Like showing you that there are places you can go to for community, free food, all the cool freebies you can get and how to use that to work in your meal plan. Because I know it's a strange time right now and a lot of people are struggling and I wanted to create lighthearted fun content for you guys, but also do something that potentially could help people and be educational. And every time I make these videos, you guys come through with such great advice. Way better advice than I could ever give. And it helps 
helps people a lot. And I love seeing that sense of community in the comment section. It makes me so happy that you guys are helping each other out. I will try my best to remember to put all the links that I use in this video in the description box if you want to try them out for yourself. Sending you guys all my love. As always, I love you lots. Please know the matter and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for time for me to go. <laughs> like I died. Like I'm last with night with the flow here.